All right, part two of disassembling this monitor. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, here's a little, keep track of these. This is part of that um, release for the base. It's a little tricky to get back together. So don't lose the spring and the, whatever you'll call the other piece. So we've got the two screws off of each side. Now, pull this off. It's tape. Taped down. So we've got that off to where we can raise this up. And we need to unhook that. And remember which end I did, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's got two little clips on the side. Squeeze them. And pull it out. So it came unplugged. These are those. Oh, we got. These are the. Um, for the backlights. And it looks like. Yeah, this is the same order as the other side, so I can go by the same writing I already put on it. So we unplug these. Just feed them through the hole. We've got it apart. Now the board we want to get to is the one on this side. This is the power supply board. And it's just three screws holding it on and then the wires. Oh. It's also got, before you undo those three, it's got these three right here. And these are actually making the case act as a heat sink. see the thermal paste that's on there. Oh, four. I missed one. So four screws. Oh, I forgot these. There's two that hold the, um, the socket on. I'll take those out. Okay, now it should come out. Just gonna pull it out of the socket there. Don't think we have anything left holding it. Nope. It just doesn't want to pop out. The wires are kind of holding it up.
so it's kind of stuck. Oh, the other one didn't get stuck like this. I'm trying to figure out what it's caught on. I think the wires might just be too short. Okay, it just took some general persuasion. I'm not sure why it's stuck, but I had to pry just a little bit between the board and the frame, and it came unstuck. So, the other one didn't do that. I don't know. For some reason, this one was stuck. But, now that we got it out, if you look way over here, I don't think these look as bad as the ones on the other one I repaired. You can tell that one's leaking and that one's leaking. So those are the two bad capacitors you need to replace. And I covered that in the other video. These are 10 volt 1000 microfed. I think when I replaced them before I used 16 volt. So that's all you need to do and it goes together just the same as it came apart um, if the thermal compound doesn't look too good in here just put some more on it um, other than that it, it goes back together like it came apart just reverse order put this back on put the three screws in there put the four that hold the board on Put the two on each side that hold the case on, plug all your wires in, snap the bezel back on, you know, the two halves back together, and put your four screws back in there. That's it.